Espinoza from the band of Tuna Run. I play everything in our recordings. I do the drums, guitar, bass, vocals. And then my backing bands are right here, but they play with me. I show them the songs. Yeah. How would you describe your music? The set that we played today was a little bit more chill than what we usually do, but I think the, the album I'm working on right now, it's very like garage punk, very like strokes reminiscent, almost killers. It's like if killers went punk. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way I can describe it. Just accept the vocals. His vocals are nice, mine aren't pretty. That's the way it's supposed to be. Of all the stages you've played, which one's been your favorite so far? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Honestly, I'm not very picky too much with like stages, but I would say my favorite one is the Knitting Factory in North Hollywood. We played there like two months ago. That one's like pretty spacious, but I think it's my favorite just the sound system and like the way it's set up. It's a very nice venue. That's probably my favorite. And when you're moving around, have you ever uh, tripped on your wires or plugged your guitar? Literally yesterday I did that. I was like in the middle of the song, I was like, why can't I hear my guitar? <laughs> Fucking unplugged. So yeah, that's kind of the downside of playing like a really cramped venue, is you can't really move around and when you do, you're tripping on shit. What would be your next stage that you would love to play at? Next stage? Like the main room at the Echo in LA or like... Shit man, that's a good question, I never really thought about that. I guess any room that's like a thousand cap. Because I played like 800 cap rooms with like my other band, that's sick. But like I think once you reach like a thousand to like two thousand, that's like, that's pretty big. So maybe that, I'm not, I'm not really good with like venue names. Right now you have a new song out, what can you say about that song? Uh, that song is a B-side to my upcoming album. It was just mainly like a song to just release. I haven't released a song in like two years. So I'm gonna just drop it. Uh, I'm working on the new album. So like the show we just played and the shows we're gonna play next week, they're gonna be our last show for like six months. And then like this next album, it's our first album. That's what I'm hoping is gonna be like the trajectory, you know, it's gonna get us somewhere because I feel like the music we have out right now is like kind of subpar and like even like the new song I dropped, it's like, it's a b-side, like I wasn't very proud of it, but like we have like a 10 track album that's like, I've been working on it for two years and I know it's gonna be really good. And speaking of that, like some people have uh, said that they were writing a song or getting ready to release a song and they weren't into it too much but maybe your taste was not caught up to that song yet mm. do you think that's where you're at yeah honestly i feel like for me at least this project it's my outlet for just writing stuff that i'm not particularly like trying to write it's just like i write something and i'm like oh that sounds cool and i just like release it it's not like i wouldn't listen to this music personally <laughs> this is weird but like this is more my outlet to like if I hear like a Blink-182 song, I'm like, I want to make a song like that. Then I hear a song like Minor Threat, then I'm like, I want to make a song like that. So that's what this outlet is for me. So for Mirrors, the new song, it was more like, it started off as something cool, then I started disliking it. But like everyone was around me was like, just drop it. Like even if you don't like it, just drop it. You already recorded it. I don't think I'll ever like that song, but I mean, if people like it, that's cool. Like, I still put a lot into it. It's not like I half-assed it. And of all the music that you have out right now, do you think people are sleeping on a particular song? Uh, I don't think so, because I feel like our music isn't that good, at least the ones I have out. But I do appreciate the song doesn't get better. I feel like that song is like what a lot of like TikTok kids would like. Like, I don't know, I feel like if I had like proper promotion and like, maybe label backing on promoting it, I feel like it would blow up. Purely on like instrumentals. I remember writing this song and I'm like, dude, like it sounds like a TikTok song. And I'm like, I'm gonna drop it. And that's what I mean. Like this music is, this project is just like, I hear something cool, I wanna make it. It's not like I listen to this and I wanna make it. I, li I hear something cool and then I'll make it. Which song do you have uh, right now that when you get on stage, you can't wait to play? 12 p.m. That's probably my favorite. It used to be my least favorite, but I think lyrically it resonates, I can tell with a lot of people. 
and it resonates with me. So I think that's why I look forward to it the most. Who has been your inspiration to when you started writing, and right now, who is your inspiration to keep writing? Uh, my inspiration for writing music is probably like Together Pangea. They inspire me a lot. Ironically enough, like a lot of like metal bands, like I don't really incorporate heavy stuff, but like Dying Fetus or like Metallica or like Slipknot. There's little things that they do that I sneak into my music, which is why some of our songs like are really on the heavy side. So. It's very broad what my inspirations are, but I would say definitely Together Pangea and like Dying Fetus and like Slipper and Metallica, for sure. Do you think you have a message that you want to send through with your music? I think... That's funny, I was just thinking about this today. I'm like, what do I want to do? I think music, at least what I'm trying to do is like... I just like connecting. If I see people enjoying it, that's all I really care about. A form of validation is like, oh, they fuck with it, but also, like, I know what music has done for me. So, like, seeing that, like, sometimes I play to, like, people and they're just, like, stone faced, and, like, halfway through the set, they're just, like, going crazy. And that's what I like. That's my main reason for doing it, is playing live shows. Yeah. And if your music was to be featured in a movie, what style of movie do you think that would uh, your music would be what on? Style. I think some of our music can be like coming of age. That's a good question. Maybe like Lords of Dogtown or like like mid nineties. Like any type of like skate movie, because I skate, so I like relate to that. Show, I could get you a show, Shameless. I don't know if you ever seen that show. I, the music they play on there is like basically what I do. Yeah. Do you want to say anything to your fans? Uh to all all my two fans. <laughs> No, 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 I appreciate them. Everyone who's bought a shirt, streamed the music, or like came up to ask for a picture, like that's just sick. Like that's, it makes me feel like I'm doing something right. Even though like this is a small project and it's like very, very tiny, like to know that like at least like some people like fuck with it, that's cool. That's so like big thank you to anyone who listens, buys merch, comes to the shows, anything. Alright, awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.